To show traffic flow on this map of Carlisle, I'll need to add a vector line layer. So I've faded the map with the transparency tool so that the lines show up clearly. Now I'll go to the map editor, map, edit map, to show you what to do. Click on the work with a layer tool and add. Then go through the dialog boxes. First give the layer a name, I'll call it traffic, and choose the line layer type. Next, choose a colour that shows up on the map and a font and size for the labels. Finish brings up your map with a new layer already active. Now we can add lines to the map. So click on Draw New Objects and click and drag along a road, changing direction where you need to. Double click on the last node and click again to bring up the box to add a label. So I'll continue to add a few more. Now I've added four roads and I'll close the editor to bring us back to the other main screen. We're back on the Aegis page ready to add some data. So I'll click on the map and go to insert data table. So creating a blank table and I'll add some information for each field. So the first field is roads and we need to click in the field to link the data to the map. Then I'll add another field for my vehicle count and that needs to be a number. That's all I'll do for the moment. So we'll finish and see our data table. So we'll transfer the names from the map into the table by going to extract seed names. So they go from the traffic layer into the roads field. Now I can add some count. So I'll just put some random numbers in. And then we can see what's on the map. So go to the display data wizard, choose flow lines, vehicle count, no label, Linear in range is fine for this type of data. Just click through and choose a colour and finish to bring up your roads on the map. If you want a key, then data key and position that where you like. So there we are, you're ready to go ahead and make your own traffic flow map now.